Hello, YouTube. Welcome to another uh, Shut Up Already. Now, um, on this episode, I want to actually get into something that's kind of knife-making specific. A lot of the topics that I've been kind of going over have been kind of broad um, marketing, getting started, you know, that kind of stuff. Getting into, like, where to get materials and that was a little more specific. But it was it was designed kind of to be more broad, so this would kind of, like, reach um, a wider range of of people um, but now I'm gonna get into something that's pretty knife specific I'm gonna talk about grinding the bevels this is uh, something that gets asked a lot how do you grind bevels how come my bevels aren't consistent on and on and on um, the answer to most of those questions is generally uh, time <laughs> practice going over it you know doing it a lot of times there's really there's no real shortcut to doing this well especially by hand there's jigs that you can get into using. I'm not going to go into that too in depth here. I don't like using a jigs. I don't even use a tool rest uh, on my grinder. I just do it straight up freehand. And I think there's a lot of benefits to learning how to do it that way. Um, so, so that's how I'm going to show you how I do it is, is totally freehand. So um, before we, before I actually go to the grinder, um, I want to show you guys kind of on paper what I'm going to be uh, trying to do at the grinder. Hopefully I don't screw it up. <laughs> so here's the paper. Now let's pretend that this is the the end of the blade if you were looking straight on like that, okay? Obviously a little exaggerated. Now first thing I've done, you'll notice I painted the edge of this with blue. It's like a blue layout die and then you just scribe yourself a line down the middle. Um, and hopefully you guys can kind of see there's a, that straight line scribed down the middle of it. That's a, that's a guide. Um, to be honest, I don't usually do that, but for, for this, I'm going to do this for you guys so that you guys can, can kind of see. But that's just, that's just a little center line that just helps show you where you are. Um, it's handy to do, especially if you've got a forged knife and things aren't, things are a little, a little wonky then that's a great time to do that. So what a lot of guys will do, and, um, and this is what I did when I first started grinding, and this is what jigs really force you to do, is you set your, you, you hold your blade at the angle that, like the finished angle that you're going for, you know what I mean? So let's say, and you're not going to grind right to your point. I'm sorry, I really hope you guys can make this out. So you're not, you're, you're not going to grind right to your center. You want to leave a little bit. We're talking like a hundred thousandths of an inch or something like that. Um, thickness on the edge of your, your blade before you heat treat. Otherwise you'll, you'll burn your edge off. So let's say, let's say that your finished grind for uh, argument's sake is something like that. Like that's your finished bevel um, before heat treat. So, so what I used to try to do and what your jig will force you to do um, is uh, is set just just grind at that angle right so you grind there and then you're grinding this and so on and so forth and that's how that's how you grind your bevel out right the problem here is something called grit shear and I've, I've I don't think I've discussed this uh, on this YouTube channel before I know I've gone over it a couple times like on Facebook and Instagram and stuff but this is now it's going to be out there for <laughs> for permanence so this 90 degrees here at the edge of your at the edge of your blade that 90 that's aggressive as fuck okay so this is your this is your your belt right and it's it's full of all these little grits depending on what grit you're using some of them are obviously more aggressive than others but what you're getting is that this 90 degree edge is just shearing off all these little all your little grits and just dulling the hell out of your belt all the time and that's called grit shear. So if you're using a nice brand new belt, that's just, it's just a chisel chipping away, away all your little, all those little grits and, and yeah, just dulling your belt. And then, so once you get done that first grind and then the second one, that angle is almost 90 degrees too. So that's just, just as aggressive. So you're chipping away more and you're just killing the life of your belt, especially if it's a brand new belt. Um, this is just hell on your belts. Um, so the alternative to this and this is something that Josh Dabney taught me. It's called breaking the 90s. So the first thing you do is you come in and you go almost, almost to where you want to finish, and you go, bam, 
45 degrees and knock that right off. Now this, I mean, that obviously looks like a lot of material, but we're talking again, if you picture 45 degrees off the center line of that, it's really not much. So you use a worn out belt, something that's, you know, not a new belt, like a 50% worn out 60 grit, 36 grit, whatever you want to do, something that's already kind of worn because this is going to wear that belt quite a bit. Again, you're not taking a ton off, but it's it's going to be hell on a brand new belt, right? <clears throat> so you break the 90, you take that off, you do that on both sides, and then if you want, you can move on to a fresher belt or a brand new belt or whatever you want to use. But then your next your next step is here. You go from, I don't know what this line is from. Not quite, not quite the, sorry, you can't see. Not quite the, the, the exact same point. You come in a little bit and you take off like something like that. Um, so now, now the angle that you're actually dealing with that your belt is, is dealing with is this mellow, mellow angle right there. That's not hurting your belt nearly as much as a whole bunch of these things going on. And then your next one, you know, same thing. You come in around the same spot, take off there and, and so on. And it's just, a, just a way mellower angle to be for your belt to be approaching there. So you're not constantly chipping off grit. So that's grit shear. So avoid that by breaking your nineties and then slowly working up. And then once you're you know, if you have that little, this little extra angle in here, this is, it's going to be tiny, tiny. Again, we're talking about the edge of a blade here, right? So it's tiny little bit. Even if you leave that until finishing, it's no big deal after heat treat. Or once you got your bevel in, then you come in, put a little extra pressure on the, the edge side of things and squeeze that over to closer to your center line, disappears in a pass or two. It's no big deal. So that's how I'm going to grind and that's how I'll, I'll show you grinding and you just then you're just working that bevel on up the blade until you get to your to your height that you want to heat treat at. All right. So I will uh, I'll suit up. I'll mount you in my little camera holder over my grinder and uh, and I'll show you a couple of things at the belt that's too difficult to describe to you here and then uh, and then we'll make some sparks. Okay, welcome to the grinder. You are what blown out. Okay, so here we are at the grinder. Um, so this is going to be kind of my my posture as I approach the grinder and uh, and and do my grinding. Now you're going to notice me using this little stick. This guy helps me not burn my fingers. This is going to be holding this side. Uh, it's got this tiny little lip on it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are going to see it whatever it's got a little lip so it holds the uh it holds the blade instead of using my finger and burning it a lot collecting a lot of sparks on my skin i'll use this little stick it's like a push stick with a little ledge on it anyways <clears throat> grinding the bevels so i'm going to come in harsh like 45 degrees and knock that that 90 off um this is like a semi worn out 36 grit so I'm going to be watching my center line that's scribed along here. I'm going to come in 45 degrees and just blast off that 90. Uh, then I'll do the other side like so. Then this is all about grinding bevels is all about consistency. So it's, it's about being consistent in my angle to the belt this way. It's about being consistent in my angle to the belt this way. It's about consistent pressure on the belt and it's about consistent speed at across the belt so those are all the kinds of things that you got to be watching for so i'll knock off the 90s and then uh and then we'll talk about something that's a little easier to describe to you uh once we got that done
Okay, so 90s are broken. I don't know why this keeps blowing out on you guys. Sorry. Um, so there's a couple of things now that you need to, to think about when you're approaching the belt. Um, when I go to start my grinds, you'll notice that I'm towing in a little bit. So I'll, I'll approach it with the edge side and then lay down and find my find my angle from there instead of coming in flatter and, and tilting up or trying to find that angle perfectly the first time because that's really difficult to do so you're probably not going to do that so I come in and really gently just kind of touch the the edge side and this because because a gouge there is easier to fix than a big dent down here so I, I just catch a little of the toe and then I'll tilt down until I find my angle and then because it's also difficult to find your plunge perfectly I'll start out here so I'll come in toe in lay down until I find my angle and then move in until I hit the until I hit where my plunge line is going to be and that's when I start to push and at that point I haven't put really any pressure on the belt at all yet so I just come in come down over and then I start to grind and I move across the grind and try to move consistently keeping my angle and everything consistent also this type of angle here <clears throat> this is a lot more aggressive so if when I'm first grinding and I want to take a lot of material off, I'm grinding like this. I'm on a bit of an angle, a lot more of an angle. I'm grind, grind, grind. I don't care if it's got a little wobbly down here because then later on, once my grind's moved up the face of the, of the blade a little bit, then I come in and grind a little flatter. And it's not going to take as much off, but it's going to smooth everything out and really make that, that line nice and consistent. Um, also, you can move your belt. This is more for finishing, but if you move your belt off, the uh, the platen just a little bit it, it gets a little bit of that a little bit of give and that's what it kind of changes your the top of your grind whether it's straight 90 degrees or a, a smoother rounder one so play with that a little bit too but like I say lining up your your plunge lines and sorting out that sort of transition at the top that can all be done for finishing later on when you're done when you're done heat treat okay so i'll fire up the grinder again watch your headphones and uh and we'll finish grinding one side of this bevel Okay, let's adjust you a little bit here. Whoop. Hi. Okay, so that is basically where I'm gonna finish grinding this bevel pre-heat treat. Um, you'll notice that I was, right when I approached the belt, I guess I should have left you there for this, um, I, would, I would come off the belt a little bit, like I would I'd find a toe in to, the, to the, the bevel, fall down, find my bevel, and then there is just a little shadow there. And when I've got that shadow, that means I'm grinding up here. Um, if there's no shadow, it means you're kind of grinding the whole face, which is what I did at the end there, just to kind of smooth everything out. But just having that, 
that little bit, we're talking like thousandths of an inch off the, the, the edge, off the belt a little bit like that. Now you're grinding up the face of the bevel a little bit. And like I say, this is all about mileage. You can't get better without practicing this. Grind a lot of, of bevels. Cut out a bunch from some cheap stock, um, some like low carbon whatever, hammer out some rebar flat and, and practice on that, you know, whatever you gotta do. Um, it's just all about all about practice and you can't get better without practicing this. So that's grinding a bevel. And like I say, we're gonna leave a little bit on the edge here um, for heat treat, because if that's sharp, it'll just burn that off. Uh, but that's about as far up on this thickness as a 3 16 that's as far up the the, the bevel as I'm going to go. My finished is probably going to just be like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch higher than that um, on finished grinding, but that's grinding a bevel. Hopefully I didn't forget anything because I did just film this for Instagram live and I feel like I've, I'm trying to repeat myself. And so I'm hopefully nothing's, um, nothing's uh, registering in my brain has already been said that hasn't actually been recorded for you guys, but there you go. That's grinding a bevel for knife making. Hopefully someone in a different field can somehow apply this as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.